Tja. Dann look. Dann look. Fantastically yours. Cool, cool, cool. Well, all right, all right, all right. So we got a Twisby Eco in the color Persian Green. This is now my fourth Eco. The gang's all here, you guys. This color is really pretty. I only have one stub nib and it is a moon man. So I thought I would try out a Twisby stub. That's pretty. I like it. This is for me. And then I guess this would be a shared thing. I really enjoy the Manio collection from Sailor, so I thought I'd pick up another one. We'll have to swatch this in a bit. And this I purchased for my boyfriend. I was gonna buy myself another pen case, and then I thought, well, I should probably pick one out for him because he doesn't have his own. He's just horning in on my storage. So. Ooh. I almost ordered the five pen, but then I think they just came out with the 10 pen. And then it comes with a notebook, so that's nice. Ooh, maybe my boyfriend won't be getting this after all. <laughs> it's more of a suede texture. It's very soft. Got some dust on it. Okay, so oh. does it keep going? No, that's as far as it goes. Okay, so it doesn't really lay flat. Unless I'm missing something. Am I holding this upside down? So it has pocket here so you can slip the notebook in. And then the nice thing about these is that you can adjust the straps. So if you have thicker pens, you can easily accommodate for them. I'm gonna take this out for now. Way out. I like the color, I like the texture, it's very soft. I just don't like how it doesn't lay flat and I don't wanna like ruin it. So another case that I have is this Galen Leather 10 pen pouch. And you see how it lays flat, that's nice. So these three pens, this one, this one, and this one are my partners. So I was gonna transfer them over to this. Now I don't know if I wanna put the pens in here until he gets home and looks at it. My boyfriend did in fact keep this. And he has since set it up with a few of his fountain pens. He doesn't mind that it doesn't open all the way. It's funny because I gave him this one as he was filling this up. It's the Twisby VAC 700R and I actually hate writing with this pen. And he does have this Waterman. So you want to put them in and tighten them as you go. This seems plenty tight though. The only thing that I can see this being an issue with is that these pens aren't super stable within here. They do move around. You see how they're not moving around a whole lot unless you're really pushing on them. If this band was a little thicker, I think it would be better. So I'm gonna try putting a few pens on the side so we can see how it is with more. Mm. 
tighten. Another chesky. Would this even fit in here? This one I probably wouldn't keep in here because it just touches the zipper and that would make me worry that it's going to scratch it. It's just a hair too big for it. But this one, perfectly fine. But yeah, I mean, like if you're moving and stuff, it's really shake it up, you know? It's not gonna go that many places. It's just, it's just something to think about. I like that there's no bulging or anything. It doesn't wrinkle. This is my fountain ink journal. I also like to keep any little ephemera that comes with my inks in here as well. But I forgot to say, so unprepared. Rhodia, Tomoe, and Leuchtturm. And then I had Archer and Olive in here, but it's so thick that it just made it way too bulky. So I went through and took them out and started hole punching them and adding them on this ring. Hi, Sneeze. Hey, hey, Sneeze. Hey, sit, sit, sit. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess I don't. When I'm mid writing, I will finally sneeze. That is very pretty. Let's see. I did put a lot of ink down. So on the Rhodia, it's kind of bleeding through a little bit. But again, it's a lot of ink. The Tomoe paper, as usual, is a very resilient. The Leuchtturm paper, <laughs> some bleed through. And then Stalogy, a little bit of bleed through, but for the most part, it holds up. And then Archer and Olive, nothing. Because it is a very thick. But I feel like the ink doesn't always look the prettiest on it. it looks like it has a sheen on it on the Midori paper. Let's see. And there's ghosting, but there's no bleed through. I like it. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection of reddish colors. I do have some from the Inkvent calendar that I haven't really played with, with too much. Um, like Diamond Tinsel and Bahumbug. Finally swatched this. Let's get some more ink on it, shall we? There we go. So this is still drying, but here it is compared to Bah Humbug. Why 
could always forget to grab a napkin. So I recently started this notebook where I write in my currently inked pens and then I will copy down song lyrics. And it's just a way for me to play around with my pens without having to think too much about what I'm writing. Bring it around down. We're not going for perfection here. I have this leftover ink on here and sometimes if there's a lot, I will just go to the page and just kind of mess it up. So now I have to wait for that page to dry. Well, isn't this fun? Sheen. Where's my plotting? Oops. You dummy. So this is mostly dry, no? Foxy is on the run. You know, I'm really bad at understanding what people are saying, especially in songs. Get out of here, Nat. Do I know how to write with a stub nib properly? Um, not really. You know, I think I think he said, for fox sake, for fox sake, for fox, fox. Ah sake for foxy <laughs> I have no idea it dries pretty quickly on this paper look at that look at that very happy with my purchases. I'm glad to have another stub nib. It is a lot of fun to write with. I think I always thought I needed to use the stub nib for just doing headers and stuff instead of, you know, just normal journaling, but I am going to be using it a lot more, I think. Okay, bye! But do you see how he's hogging so much space in here? Three pens. I mean, really.